There's something just a little bit magical about beaches, isn't there? The warm sun, the soft sand under your feet, the crashing of the waves. It has this amazing, calming, tranquil effect on people who come here. And which is why we come to the beach every time we want to escape from the humdrum and the craziness of everyday life. We're currently at Waisag, part of the 6,000 kilometers of coastal line that the Indian mainland enjoys. And a desire coastal trail drive starts right here. We're going to be making our way from here about 450 kilometers down the road along the coast to the town of Puri. Before we get going though, let me tell you a little bit about the car we're going to be driving. Now since this is the Desire Coastal Trail, we are of course driving a streetcar named Desire. The Maruti Suzuki Desire to be precise. A compact sedan that came out earlier this year and has been making great waves, pardon the pun, ever since. It's got a benchmark in luxury in terms of how it drives and overall as a car, as a complete package. And we're going to test that. We're going to see what it's like over the next two days doing highway runs through cities and driving along the coast of course. But before we get the motor running and get out on the highway, let's explore Wysag a little bit, shouldn't we? And so, we loaded up the spacious boot with all of our luggage and equipment and set off. Our very first destination in Wysag was the Ross Hill Church. Sitting pretty atop a hill that overlooks the Wysag Harbour, the church was built in the 1980s. Its classical architecture, riveting facade of blue and white and ornate altar all meld together to create a structure of humble beauty. From here, we moved on to the famous RK Beach and its star attraction, the INS Kursara, a now retired submarine originally acquired from the Russians and one that saw over 30 years of action, including a pivotal role in the war against Pakistan in 71. The sub has been converted into a fascinating museum these days. A trip inside gives you a glimpse into life aboard this deep water dweller and is an absolute must visit. We also took some time out to admire the Victory at Sea Memorial just across the road and the naval plane parked right beside it. The memorial commemorates India's victory in the epic naval battle of 1971 where a Pakistani submarine was deployed to sink the INS Vikrant but instead was obliterated by the Indian naval forces. And all of this naval warfare occurred just off the coast of Waisag. A fitting place for the memorial then, I'm sure you'd agree. After this, it was time to hit the open highway, but not before making one last stop in the outskirts of Waisag. We visited Thotlakonda. So Rama, how I mentioned that Waisag is steeped in ancient history too? This is what I was talking about. Thotlakonda, a Buddhist monastery is dating back to the 2nd and 3rd century BCE. That's over 2,000 years old. The ancient Buddhist monastic structures, excavated by the state's archaeological department, after they had been discovered during an aerial reconnaissance in the late 80s. We also enjoyed the spectacular vistas of the ocean that this location offered before heading back out on the road and making our way towards Puri. With the destination entered into the car's smart play infotainment system's inbuilt navigation, the open highway beckoned. This also meant the desire could flex its muscle and I came away suitably impressed with the 190 Nm of torque on tap from its 1.3 litre diesel engine. With the ability to cruise at triple digit speeds without breaking a sweat, while offering up great fuel economy figures while even carrying these speeds, we were making very good headway. And without the need to refuel either, a short halt at Potagada Fort later, and we had covered the 450 odd kilometers to arrive at Puri and checked into our hotel for the night. We were up pretty early the following morning so that we could catch the sunrise on the Golden Beach. As the desire stood, with its Oxford blue paint glimmering, the chrome shining in the glow of the rising sun, it was a picture of sophisticated good looks and one that began to draw a crowd of onlookers. We quickly made a getaway before the crowd grew any further and made our way to the town's famous Jagannath Puri temple. Built in 1174, the temple is of course one of the Char Dham, of four cardinal points of Hindu religion. After paying our respects at the holy site, we moved on to the Raghurajpur artisan's village. Puri's handicraft is famous the world over and in this village, we got to visit a few of the over 100 homes of artists that dwell here and create the artwork that has brought the town so much fame. After seeing how traditional works like Patta paintings are made and many other riveting pieces of art beside, 
we headed out towards Ramchandi beach. This meant more highway roads flanked by beauty and another chance to enjoy the comfort and luxury of the desire's cabin. From the classy wood finished two tone dash to the relaxing seats and powerful air conditioning, the inside of the desire was definitely the place to be. The drive leading to Ramchandi was extremely enjoyable and took us through the mesmerizing Balukhand Wildlife Sanctuary. The dry branches of the trees flanking the road met overhead to form a natural canopy to create a spellbinding drive experience. Almost too soon, we had arrived at the beach. And with that, it's time to call an end to this our leg of the Desire Coastal Trail. And what better place to do it than another sliver of serenity like this? We're at the Ram Chandi Beach, just outside of Puri. And I have to say that even though it's been a short drive, it's been an immensely fun one nonetheless. And a lot of credit for that goes to the car sitting over my shoulder over there. The Maruti Suzuki Desire. Its punchy engine meant we could make some great time on the highway while still offering some good fuel economy also. The supple suspension meant the dumb jumps and bumps didn't really bother us either. And the luxury and comfort on offer meant it made, a, made for a great companion overall for this journey. If you enjoyed it as much as we did, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below and of course subscribe to our channel. This is Harkit from Car India Magazine signing off. I'll see you soon.